What's going on guys? It's Drama back with another episode of NBA Talk and Kevin Durant says he hopes to make his free agency decision by July 4th and we're here so where's he gonna go? Like any NBA diehard, I've been going nuts trying to figure out where KD's actually going to land. Is it Golden State? Is it San Antonio? Is it Boston? Or will he just stay in OKC? Nobody knows and all this speculation and predicting is useless because no one has actual facts to back it up. Only KD and his group actually know what he's thinking and last time I checked, neither I or you are part of KD's group, but if you are, feel free to let us know in the comment section below. Thanks. All jokes aside, I've really been thinking hard about all of KD's options and honestly, you guys aren't gonna like this, but the best option for KD is Golden State. See, I told you you weren't gonna like it, but think about it. KD has an opportunity to join a legendary team who just lost in the NBA Finals. Had the Warriors won, I don't think there's any chance KD chases a ring over there. It would hurt his reputation too much. And not to say that joining Golden State won't hurt his reputation a little bit. It's not as bad as if they would just win a championship. I mean, they lost, so Golden State could use the pitch of, hey, we lost in the Finals, but if we had you we would win, right? And look, this isn't a pipe dream. This is a real thing that could happen. Kevin Durant, Johnny Basketball, Nike superstar signature athlete could actually join the Golden State Warriors, one of the two best teams in the entire NBA? They got the cap space. This could actually happen. This isn't like Melo wanting to play with Kobe on the Lakers when they were in their championship runs. That wasn't a possibility. This Kevin Durant to Golden State situation is a real thing. Is this real life? Honestly, ask yourself this question. If the Golden State Warriors were pursuing you and you were a top five NBA player and they said, look, you could join our team. All you have to do is say yes and this will happen. Would you really say no? Now look, I understand staying in OKC makes a lot of sense from a financial and basketball point of view, but remember, they traded Serge Ibaka, and yes, they got a lot of value back for Ibaka in Oladipo and Sabonis, but we just don't know for sure if those additions will take the Thunder over the hump, because remember, that Thunder squad had a lineup which included Serge Ibaka that was kicking the Warriors' butt. Will these additions take them over the hump? I don't know. It's naive to say that it will because we just don't know yet. They haven't played together. We don't know how those pieces fit. But Ibaka was a very important part of the Thunder's success against the Golden State Warriors. Now look, I know you're furiously typing on your keyboard right now. Oh, Jerron, you're a Golden State bandwagoner. But come on, you have to admit, it'd be pretty crazy to watch KD play with Steph. Clay and Draymond, but as a true basketball fan, I would like to see that, but I would like to see KD go to Boston even more. Having an NBA great in that classic Boston Celtics uniform that hasn't changed since like the 60s just feels right, and I love watching those games on that parquet floor, and this current Celtics squad is already one of my favorite teams to watch. And before you even ask, yes, I would vote for Brad Stevens for president. Now before you Spurs fans say, hey, you're forgetting about us, you never talk about us, the Spurs get no love. Hold your horses because Kevin Durant to the Spurs is also a very tasty, delicious option that we're going to talk about right now. KD isn't a lockdown defender by any means, but his crazy athleticism and freakish length coupled with his quickness really make him a threat on the defensive end as we saw against Golden State and that paired with the claw ooh, is a basketball fan's dream and I would definitely love to watch that play out on the hardwood. But I don't know, you'd have to imagine that if KD were to leave a small market like Oklahoma City, he would leave to a bigger market unlike San Antonio. So while San Antonio might not be the sexiest choice, it might be one of the more smarter choices. But doesn't anything the Spurs have to offer on the basketball floor just as good as what Golden State has to offer? The only difference is that Golden State is in California, San Francisco, a big market, and San Antonio is not. Okay, Heat fans, you waited your turn, and we're gonna talk about you a little bit, but I'm gonna make this quick and painless. 
Why would Kevin Durant go to Miami basically doing exactly what LeBron did? End of conversation. But look, like I said earlier in this video, all this speculation is useless because we have no facts to back it up, but it sure is fun to talk about. And I just don't see a situation where if I were KD, I would tell the Warriors, nah, B. Anyways, guys, my name's Jaron. This has been NBA Talk. Let me know where you think Kevin Durant's going to end up. It's probably OKC, but let's have some fun. Anyways, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Starting off with the traction, you can see that Nike uses a full length blade pattern on a translucent outsole. As far as the durability goes, the rubber compound, there is no micro G in this model, but that's not a bad thing. The charge foam cushion setup Under Armour use is fantastic, especially if you're a guard who likes a low responsive ride. If you're looking for a lot of impact protection and something that feels like a pillow underneath your feet,